the bell icon to turn on notifications. As we discussed, teams, project, and task are a way to organize your work inside Asana. So let's have a look at each of those elements separately. First, let's create a team. Let's create a team for marketing Europe. We have Chris as part of the team, as well as Brian, for example. You can always update the members later, but you can choose them first when you create the team. Then you need to choose the privacy settings of the team. There are actually three different privacy settings that are possible. The first one is membership by request. It means everyone in the organization can see the team and they can ask to join. And then you can approve or reject that request. Then you have the private settings that will completely hide the team from everyone in the organization unless they are already invited in. And then you have public, which means anyone can join the team. They see the team. They are not a member by default, but they can join just by clicking on the team name. Usually membership by request is used for things like HR, legal, things like this that are really critical and for which you need to check who gets in and who has access to the data. Private team are usually used for really private project, really private initiative you don't want the rest of the company to know about. And public team is usually used for everything else. Asana by default is kind of opened and tends to push you to have everything shared with everyone. So we choose the public uh, team for now. You'll see that the team we just created will appear at the bottom on the left hand side of the screen. And we can see that you can actually see other teams you are not a member of. For example, this one is a public team you can join. This one is a membership by request. You need to request to join that team. Once you have your team ready, you can create your first project. So let's have a look and create a project to manage the blog we have for the Europe market. You click on new project and then you can decide to choose between a blank project, use an existing template, or you can actually import your entire project if it's stored within a spreadsheet. So let's create with a blank project. Then we're going to decide on the name, blog management. The team is already chosen and we again have to choose the privacy settings of the project. Public to team is pretty straightforward. Anyone that is a member of the team will see the project inside the team. And then private to project members means you're going to have to invite people in so they can see the project. Unlike teams, there's no request to join settings for the project. It's either private or public. Usually everything is public. And sometimes some specific initiative are kind of private within the team or they contain a private information. So in that case, you need to choose the private settings for the project. And then you'll have to choose the default view you want for that project. We'll talk about this later, but this is where you can choose the default view and you can actually change that default view later uh, very easily from any of the available layouts. I'm going to choose list for now. Once inside the project, you see an empty task list and it's up to you to start creating the first task. So for example, I'm going to create the first task, which is choose blog name, publish first post, publish a second post and invite freelancer to do copywriting. At one point, you're going to realize that you want to organize your work. You might want to create a section or kind of group the tasks together. And that is available within Asana by using sections. So for example, I'm going to create a section for blog post ideas, where you can store ideas about blog posts, for example. So newest campaign, 2022 marketing plans, etc., etc. Those sections in list view will become uh, columns in board view, but this is something we'll talk about later. 
So that was the really first steps into creating your first project and creating your first task. You shouldn't overthink this part. You should just get on with it, create a first project and try to organize your work within that first project. And then pretty quickly, you realize that the structure you designed, the structure you chose is actually not the right one. You might have to move to a different structure or you might want to use a second project or a third project or you might want to merge project together. Asana is made in a way that it can evolve easily and you could move the task around very easily. So don't worry about that first project. It is pretty sure that you will have to update the structure at one point to just go with it, create the first project and start creating your first task. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.